Mr. Tongue Twister tried to train his tongue to twist and turn and twit and twat to learn the letter T. Hi, I'm Jill, and I'm standing in front of our orange tree to introduce the sound for this video. The sound we're looking at today is I'm enjoying my morning cup of Earl Grey tea. There's lots of trees down today after the cyclonic winds yesterday. Now it's time for me to do some online teaching. So t is quite a nice easy sound to make. So we just put our tongue up to the roof of our mouth and then push air out and push that tongue down. So, t, t. Okay, now here's some tongue twisters to practice that sound. T. Two tiny tigers take two taxis to town. Two toads totally tired. Mr. Tongue Twister tried to train his tongue to twist and turn and twit and twat to learn the letter T. To make the simple past tense of verbs in English, we add the letters ed, but the sound is not always a d sound. Sometimes it makes a t sound. So those past, simple past tense verbs that end in ed, the ones that we pronounce with a t at the end, depend on the end of the main verb. So if the end of the verb is a particular sound, then the ed sounds like t. So if the verb ends in sh, ch, s, p, f, or k, then the end sound is t when we add ed in the past. So let's take a look at some examples. So the washing machine has finished. It has washed all my clothes. Finished, washed. I tried to catch the ball but I missed. Watched. I just watched some Netflix. I walked 10,000 steps this morning. Jumped and laughed. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun and the dish ran away with the spoon. Remember, English spelling and pronunciation are not the same. So when you see a letter T, sometimes it makes the sound T, sometimes it makes no sound at all. Some words have a silent letter T. For example, castle, whistle, listen, and there are even some words that sometimes we say the sound and sometimes we don't. For example, often. I often speak English. I often speak English. Often, often. Both are okay. Sometimes we pronounce the T, sometimes it's silent. Thanks for watching. I hope you learnt a little more about the sound Remember, for lots more pronunciation practice, you can visit Jill's Pronunciation Gym. You can either see that on my YouTube channel, Jill Shepherd, or on the Study HQ Cairns website. So there are lots of different ways to practice your English pronunciation. Just do a little bit every day, and this will help to improve your pronunciation, which in turn will improve your listening skills. 
So go to Jill's English Pronunciation Gym every day and work out those English muscles. Thanks for watching.